Well, I've decided today is Subscriber Appreciation Day, at least as far as you folks are concerned. Just wanted to take the time to thank all of you for sticking with me, you know, watching the videos, and all of that good stuff, leaving comments. Um, it's really awesome how far this channel has come. Uh, surpassed 400,000 subscribers not long ago, and I understand that that number is completely inflated due to inactive accounts and uh, lots of people who are subscribed but never actually watch anything. But even so, it's pretty amazing. It's quite astonishing to think like 400,000. I, I can't even visualize that. You know, even just taking quote unquote only the number of views that I get on a regular basis, which typically are somewhere around 30 to 50,000, although a few views get hundreds of thousands. But I think the active subscribers that watch regularly, they seem to be somewhere around 30, 40, maybe 50,000. But uh, it's amazing. I mean, that number of people, that's that's entire towns which is just crazy like to think that so many people would watch this stuff but there it is and it's really cool so uh i was thinking about doing a giveaway but there's something that always bothers me about that stuff you have like thousands of people entering and then there's one person or you know maybe two or three who actually win th something. So the chance of winning is just so ludicrously low. And then there are so many people who, who enter and hope they're gonna be the winner and then and they're all gonna be disappointed. So, I don't know. Maybe you, you have a different opinion, but to me it's just, it's not that great of a way to you know, show appreciation or, or gratefulness to to subscribers or viewers in general because yeah it's just that one person <laughs> i wish i could you know do something for all of you but even if i even if i gave every single one of you only one cent <laughs> which would be useless for you but even that would just leave me with a quite a hefty expense <laughs> so I don't know. If you have 50 subscribers or well, whatever, and you can do a giveaway and then, yeah, maybe out of those 50 subscribers, like 20 enter or 30 or however many. And that's a decent chance for the individual person of winning. But later, and, and also with the interaction, you know, trying to engage with people and, and reply to comments. In a lot of cases, uh, I don't even, I never even see a reply like for example if if i reply to a comment and that person then replies to my reply youtube is weird sometimes they send sometimes i get an email notification for that and most of the time i don't and i just can't just scroll through hundreds of comments to get back down there and, and uh, take a look at that again so it's it's a little weird but you know, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining here. I'm just um, basically meandering, rambling about some things. And there's something else I also wanted to mention. One of my viewers contacted me with a request. She works at an animal shelter and their porcupine house recently burned down. And now it's getting colder, which of course is not good for the animals. And um, this is the time when they get very few donations because they get few visitors due to the weather and uh, they've set up an indiegogo campaign no gofundme i think it was whichever a funding campaign i'll link it down below uh, trying to raise money to build a new house and uh i figured sure why not it doesn't take more than like half a minute or a minute to announce that so uh figured i could do that so if you like porcupines and uh, if you don't care about porcupines just think for a moment of how hard it must be for them to have sex 
maybe then you feel bad for them and then maybe you'll care about them. They must do it very, very carefully. Anyway, so uh, yeah, like I said, I'll leave the link down below and uh, so you can check that out. Since you're already here and some of you enjoy this rambling type of video, I figured I could talk a little more about stuff, <laughs> about the world, or rather, let's talk about people specifically, because there's something that just is more and more on my mind, uh, namely the way we all interact. Obviously, especially on YouTube, but no, I shouldn't really say especially on YouTube, that's, that's nonsense. Everywhere, really, on the internet especially, but also in everyday life, there is a lot of um, knee-jerk reactions and, you know, gut reactions to people. And uh, I have this feeling that a lot of people dislike or despise or, or even outright hate others, especially public figures that they only see a little bit of here and there, for all the wrong reasons. And they wouldn't normally if they actually knew the person. Because if you only see something of, of somebody here and there, occasionally, like, you know, individual statements and whatnot, it's very easy to jump to conclusions based on that and form an opinion about what kind of person this is and then think, well, that's an asshole. I hate this person. Um, and undoubtedly, there are assholes in the world. I'd say there are part-time assholes, which are pretty much all of us. I mean, let's face it, we're all at some point, we're being an asshole, right? Because whatever, we dislike the person we're interacting with, we're having a bad day, um, whatever spur of the moment, emotional response, anything like that, really. Um, sometimes we just don't behave very nicely. Um, I sure know I'm, I'm a part-time asshole. I try not to be. I try hard not to be, but sometimes it happens. And then afterwards I realize, oh, why did I say that? Why did I do that? That was dickish. And I'm sure the same applies to all of you, to everybody who is honest enough with themselves. And those who really believe they're never, they never act like an asshole. They are always... They're always right and they're always doing and saying the right things. Those are the biggest, dumbest assholes on the planet, I would say. <laughs> so those I would call full-time assholes. They're not just part-time. They're in it all the way. Balls deep, so to speak. Never mind. <laughs> but, you know, in, in most situations, we're not... We're not acting all that great. I mean, we can try to improve and everything, grow, mature as a person and get better, but it doesn't always work out. And so quite often I do believe that people are disliked for all the wrong reasons because you don't know them well enough. And on the other hand, I mean, if you think about your friends, People who, know, people who you know and respect, you let them get away with a lot more things, don't you? Um, not always, but if you think about the same mistake that a stranger makes and that one of your friends makes, let's say your best friend, uh, if they're being dishonest about something or a hypocrite or they're making some kind of mistake or you're seeing some, some sort of deficiency in them, like they are maybe not as smart as you think you are, or they are not as strong as you think you are, or, and I say you think you are because we can, you know, get wrong ideas about ourselves too. But if it's a complete stranger, you're much more likely to be harsh on them, right? When it's a friend, you're more likely to, to be like, oh, okay, that's fine. Like you're much, much more likely to forgive a mistake and be like, yep, well, we all make mistakes, that's okay. And uh, at least you, you had no bad intentions and at least you're trying not to do it again, right? But if it's somebody else who does it or if it's a person from a group, from an out-group, you know, an, a them that you don't like, then 
yeah, you're not going to forgive that. You're going to nail them on it. You're going to be very harsh and merciless. And um, to some, maybe this seems completely natural. And yeah, of course we do that. Why wouldn't we? But I think it's... I hear police sirens through the chimney, which is kind of weird. Is my fire burning too hot? Anyway, um, but I think that's really, really inconsistent, really. I mean, irrational outright, because you're, it's a double standard. You're applying different, different standards and different, um, different rules in different situations, which, I don't know, I don't think we should do that. But then again, we're human, so it's just what we do, right? So somehow I rambled off into a very political tangent, which just, you know, that escalated quickly. That sort of deal. For some people, anything longer than five minutes is too long. For others, two hours is fine. So whatever. But splitting it up into more bite-sized pieces, if you will, just means that you can decide yourself. And um, that's about it. So I wish all of you a great day or night or whatever it happens to be. Um, enjoy yourself and uh, I'll see you around in the comments.